And now the battle over brick and mortar schools is taking center stage with the Palm Beach County School District. Just two hours ago, a virtual court hearing started and it does continue at this hour. It's all surrounding a class action lawsuit that has been filed. WPTV News Channel 5's Jay Cashmere, he's monitoring this hearing for us. He's joining us right now with the very latest. Jay? Good afternoon, Shannon. That hearing underway right now. Judge Glenn Kelly says a decision will be made today. However, they're only in the beginning stages of this, so they have a long way to go here. Both sides are currently presenting statements, arguments and witnesses are appearing at this hour. Again, it is virtual. The class action lawsuit claims there was a quote abysmal failure on the part of the school district to prepare for the return of in classroom instruction in Palm Beach County. It aims to prevent thousands of students and teachers from going back to the classroom. Here's where it gets tricky. It was filed against the school district last Friday. Brick and mortar schools opened up on Monday for all teachers and students. So basically they want to stop school. This emergency injunction, they want it to happen right now to stop the district from forcing them and thousands of others to return to brick and mortar schools until it's safe to do so. The district says this is completely meritless. There are many, many problems. It's not working the way they anticipated. And the danger that we anticipated when we filed the motion, we now find out is worse than we thought. What's at stake here is loss of employment. What's at stake here is a decision by these teachers, a choice to refuse to comply with the directive of their employer. And that's basically the premise of what the district is defending this. They're saying that the courtroom is not the place to discuss ethics of school board decisions or to discuss the return of schools. Now, at one point, school board member Dr. Deborah Robinson testified on behalf of the plaintiffs. The district maintains safety changes are now in place in schools, on buses and campuses. Uh, they're quoting mandatory face masks, spaced out desks and classrooms, social distancing markers, one way hallways, one sided cafeteria tables, improved air filters and more frequent sanitation. Just going through a laundry list of what what they say is in place to defend the fact that students can safely return to school. It's a big, big topic today. It could have big ramifications if the judge sides in favor of the plaintiffs. We're going to follow the developments of the case, and as soon as the judge decides, we'll certainly let you know. Shannon?